Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today, let us look at an application using Arduino software in MATLAB. At the end of this video, we should be able to sense the amount of light falling on the light dependent resistor and also monitor the same using a servo motor that is attached to the Arduino. For a quick recap on the MATLAB support package for Arduino which we had discussed in the previous video uh, is that it is a package that allows us to write MATLAB code that can be executed on an Arduino IDE. A link to this video will be shown on the top right corner. Today let's take a look at how to implement this package in projects and other applications. We are going to be using a light dependent resistor or an LDR to sense the amount of light coming in. This can be relayed back to the Arduino which senses the amount of voltage that it received from the LDR. This is then again sent back to the servo motor attached so that it can give us a gauge on the amount of light that uh, the LDR is receiving. Now taking a look at the circuit connections. First we need a Arduino Uno and a photoresistor or an LDR. We also need a resistor preferably around 1 kilo ohm. And a micro servo motor. To combine all these, we need a breadboard. To begin, let's connect the photoresistor and the resistor. So, one end of the photoresistor must be connected to one end of the resistor. The free end of the photoresistor is connected to 5 volts VCC. The common end of these resistors can be connected to the analog pin or A0. The free end of the resistor can be connected to the ground. The saw motor has three connections, one to the PWM signal pin, one to power and one to ground. The signal pin can be connected to digital pin 4 or any pin and the VCC has to be connected to the 5 volts supply of the Arduino and the ground connection to be connected accordingly. This completes the circuit connections and we can move on to writing the Arduino code. On opening MATLAB, let's create a new script and clear out all the programs that have been running in the background. Next we select the port that the Arduino board is connected to and initialize the board that we are using. In this case we are using an Arduino Uno. We initialize the Arduino and the servo motor using instances from the MATLAB package. 
Next, let's define the ranges of our GID. Basically, we would be setting the minimum and the maximum limits. We then find the range of the gauge. We then initialize the sensor pin from which we would be obtaining the resistor, photo resistor values. In this case, we will be using the A0 pin of the Arduino. Here we just initialize the voltage, voltage limits for the photoresistor. The gauge indicates how the current light compares to the minimum and maximum levels that have been read up to that point. Tick and talk are used to specify how long to run the gauge, but if needed we can run it infinitely by writing while 1. In the while loop, uh, we first read the voltage from the photoresistor. We then update the known extremes for the light sensor. Then obtain the range of the light values that is sensed by the LDR. While calculating the new gauge position based on the light value, we need to keep the lower threshold at 0 and the higher threshold at 1. Activating the servo motor moves the hand of the servo motor to the desired position on the gauge. Draw now updates figures and process any pending callbacks. We then save this code, give it a name and uh, run the code. The first time we run this code, it takes quite a bit of time to execute as it has to fetch the required dependencies. The first video shows the server motor being attached to a piece of cardboard that has the upper and lower thresholds marked. And the lower video shows the connections and we can also see how the light fluctuates and the changes that the server motor reflects due to the changes in the light. Guys, if you watched it this far, do let us know in the comment section which other projects that you would like to see us try. Thank you for watching. Do check out our other videos as well.